Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you are still the Zinger, the mad. And we still haven't talked to the person we're actually supposed to talk to here. Because we were informed of who would have the information we require. Oh. Well, the reason we haven't been told anything about that is because. There's something wrong with that dog. Because we are not actually over there. Do I get my items back now? Because I just left. Yeah, I do. Which of course means getting all of them back. Why is there Brahmin in here? Why is there a Brahmin? Uh, where did the Brahmin get to? We saw it coming through this gate, right? With them? Did you see? Turned around. Did you see the Brahmin? Your ghoul friend better not be radioactive. Okay, so talking about everyone that are in my party, despite the fact that they are actually currently on mate mode. But on the other hand, I am still getting all the advantages of them, other than the fact, you know, the shooty ones. And I'm completely okay with that, with not getting the shooty ones. Hello. Welcome to the NCR embassy. How can I help you? Moose sent me to talk to you about the murders. Ah, excellent. I received word you may be coming. We helped the receptionist over at Gomorrah with some thugs that were taking advantage of her. She owes us a favor. Go talk to her. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Okay, okay. See ya. Sir? Well. This is interesting because... I only just came from... Her and she didn't tell me anything. Guess she didn't have the persuasion. Who are you? If you need a place to stay, check out Vault 21. Mm, might be worth it. I hear if you talk to the owner a lot, you may even stay in her bed. Especially if you keep bringing her vault suits. Most of the ones I've found, I've turned into. Do repaired ones. I'm quite sure I would have had enough otherwise. Who is this? This is Dops. Did you need to go to Dops as well at some point? Hello, Ranger. Looking to lose a few caps, huh? Just the place. Okay, another Ranger. Oh, it's the next turn. Okay. Did anyone now see the Brahmin? Sure. Later. Are our Brahmins running through the street to common thing around here? Ma'am? Honey, what's your name? Have you seen a Brahmin running through the street? No, I don't mean your competition. Hey, no one but Omer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You same on trail, same on trail. I guess I just equip myself with the revolver. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Uh, I'm calling in for an outstanding balance for some information. Tell me what the matters are up to. I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? I need to know who to talk to about, uh, about what's been going on in Gamora. All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. What can you tell me about what's been going on around the street? Oh, we have uh, we have had that discussion. Okay, see ya. Later. I wish it had directed me back to the early conversation points. I think there is something wrong with that dog. Maybe. Hello. Oh, I must put his chips. Madam, how expensive are chips? Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? I'd like to exchange caps for chips. How many chips would you like? Just give me... Give me a thousand. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nah, see ya. Have a good time and good luck. It's a shame we got to use the old money. Can we try this table? Okay, well... Current pet one. Let's go for a little more. Eh? 
I'm probably gonna pass the tin, eh? Deal. Um. Stay. Did I, did I, did I money? I money it! Yay! In that case, I'm gonna leave. Serious shit going on between the NCR and the Legion. They better not fuck with our power. That was a that was a good couple of things. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? Hello, Mr. Dickweed. Uh, what can you tell me about Komora? I banged Lot's wife and licked a salty ass. The fuck do I look like? I'm the one asking the questions here. Now tell me why you've been dropping my name before I get some muscle over here and we find a private place to talk. I hear you've been doing some business on the side. Business? What the fuck do you mean business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I hear you've been dealing with some business that is off limits for the family. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. Sir. Ah. <sighs> Goodbye. <sighs> Let's see. What does the journal tell us? Documents a couple of months of Casino's activities. It contains a detailed ledger describing many of his business deals over the last few months, including the sales of cams and weapons. It is clear that Cook plans that uh, these transactions are his own personal finances, and this is done behind the backs of the Murder family management structure. He also talks in great details about many sexual encounters with Komora prostitutes, including Joanna. After nearly every off the book sale or sexual interest he wants, this one will be his last. Huh. Well, apparently we can talk again. You again? What the fuck do you want? I bought this ledger that proves some of your side business. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Uh, do you think the family would like to see this? I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. Is this channel worth a hundred caps to you? Uh, it's a shame we can't get more. I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning. Maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Well, okay then. Well, that sounds like a plan. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. Right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. What kind of specialist is Clandon? I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambler. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. I have seen the Pope. Pope. Uh, I have a couple more questions. Okay, toss them at me. Tell me about this Troik. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay. Uh. Okay, toss them at me. Let's see what the boss we can ask. Do you know anything about what they're planning? No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Good. Now... What is next? Find out what kind of work Clanton does for the family and talk to Mike. Also dance on the dance floor. Hey big guy. Looking for a good time? And uh, maybe, but not that kind. 
All right, let's see. I think whatever we need is not on this floor. But we should be able to get around easily enough. Gambler, or the tag. Huh. It's a nice thing we have the key for entering this area now. Alright. Let's head this way. Both of the markers are in that direction. Hello, do you know what Troik is up to? Mm, it doesn't look like it. This is back down again. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. You better not fuck with our power. Hello? Hello, you're Troik. Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Then what do you do here? I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. Then about what happened with the prostitute? Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. Do you know where the knife came from? I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. I have a couple more questions about what happened that night. Alright, how about it? What kind of chems were you doing? That night, mostly buff out. I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. That was my standard Saturday night. It doesn't sound like enough to get you to lose the whole night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. Okay. Alright, how about it? Let's see what else you can tell me. How did your family find out about it? How did their family? When I saw the body, I started screaming. In a few seconds, some of their soldiers were in there cleaning up the room. They offered to keep silent about what happened if I agreed to help them get their hands on large quantities of guns at deep discounts. Anything else? Alright. Like, would you like me to try to get you out of your contract? You'd do that? For me? I'm not sure what can be done, but you'd be doing me a solid if you would. I've been talking to Big Saul mostly. Alright, yeah. That's progress. I guess. That's a very hard lock. How, how's my lock picking anyway? It's 81. According to that anyway. Can't use that. I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Oh, that's you, sir. Yeah, well. This is look like Anything relevant? Alright, let's go to the suits and see what we can dig up about the other gentleman. The Pope. I really didn't even know they knew about the Pope. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. They better not fuck that Thanks for the information, dude. It's a pretty old story there. Okay, this is this points to this door, right? This points past this door. Interesting. Okay, and you are Landon. In person. That doesn't really help me. I, I was hoping to find like something to back me with. Not just you. That's a nice room you have here. It would be a shame if someone planted a load of C4 and then detonated it. While you slept. Alright, let's let's see about Glandon then. Hello. I can't talk to you apparently. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? What do you do around here? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now how did you end up in front of the hotel suits? I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino and they set me up with this great room. Kachino sent me to talk to you. Kachino? 
Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? See ya. Goodbye. Got absolutely no information from that. Oh well. Wow. This is information. Lot everywhere. I'm going to have to assume that he does a little bit of the work in the torture business. Or hitman business. Either way we haven't found any information. Hmm. Don't access those papers. And I don't know where Commander himself went now. The finance clipboard over there is not a uniquely named one, so it's probably irrelevant as well. It's just beer. The suitcase is empty. Dress is full of business wear. There's some true police stories here. The empty desk. Four pins. We didn't check if Glendon was anywhere near us. Huh. Some psycho here. You thought he was supposed to be clean as a whistle. Hmm. Good to see you again. Hope you're winning some money in here. I've been winning some. Yeah, bye. Huh. I have no idea how to get information out of him. Hi. Gamora is always open for business. Good to know. Well, someone is having a lot of fun. From the sound of it. Like the background is full of very pleasant noises. At least the uh, noises that imply that someone feels like they're in a pleasant situation. Probably mo more the client there. And the reverse. Looks like the war's ratcheting up. I hear the NCR's bringing in elite troops. Do we count as an elite troop? Because no, I'm a local. I still have no idea where his stuff might be. Like maybe there's something here that counts as evidence. Like a fridge full of human flesh, maybe? I guess I can't activate any of the blood. So yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Got the handprint over here. Hmm. I do still suspect that he might be the one who they actually hired to kill. Troik's girl. <sighs> Fine. I hear the Legion is moving some. And that's the safe. Where's Big Cell over there? I have four markers now. Four. Why do I keep getting more markers? Okay, that's like a more main level. Let's consult the local map. But something should be visible from the here. Probably not in the restrooms. Probably anyway. It's not guaranteed to be to not be about the restrooms, but there's some serious shit going on between NCR and the hope. Legion. Better not fuck with our power. Hmm. I think there was a room overlooking this area back in the day. Well, Gacino is currently on my Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires, all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. 
Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? I always have what it takes. Oh, confident. I like that. So, what do you want to do with what you've got? The better question is what are you going to do with it? Oh my, aren't you something else? I guess you'll have to see for yourself what I can do, huh? Consider it on the house. That is not where I thought the conversation was going. Actually, let me ask you some questions. Alright, honey. What do you want to know? Free XP, though. I have a question. I'd like to know more about you. Yes. Contracted pupils in one of the spasms made the skills quickly, Chona. I can help. I... I didn't think it showed. <laughs> I guess that it's worse than I thought. I... Look. We can't talk here. If you think you can help me, follow me to my room. Please. Uh, let me ask you something else. Alright, honey. What do you want to know? About your problem, let's go to your room. Follow me, hun. Um. I'm still following. Well. Taking how many people this person character has killed. Should be surprised he occasionally decides to follow a hooker to her room to help her with her medics addiction. No, actually, that makes very little sense of how his background has gone this far. Dude, he has healed a lot of people, so, uh, I don't know. Would be silly if he just decided to not heal one person who really needs it. Well. Okay. We can talk here. Then what's your problem? I'm... I don't know what's happening to me. I can't feel a goddamn thing anymore. Empty and poisoned like the wasteland. I'm afraid I won't make it out of here. Not without Carlitos. If the Medex doesn't kill me first, Kachino or another Omerta will. <laughs> I look pathetic, huh? The great Joanna. And now... I don't even know why I'm telling you this. What's Carlitos' story? He was an Omerta that fell in love with me. They don't ever mix with people outside the family, you know? He was planning to escape with me, but Kachino found out about us. So he did something, talked, I don't know. And Carlitos disappeared. Kachino talked because Carlitos broke Omerta rules? Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules. Only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's done things to me. Look, I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything left. What if Carlitos lives? If he's alive, he's long gone. The Omertas want him dead now. If you meet him anywhere, I'd do anything to get him back and escape this hell. Although I'm not keeping my hopes up. If you leave, I'll find him for you. Hun, nobody's given me a free thing before. What's it going to be for you? Caps? Sex? Straps? What? Eh, uh, nothing. I'll just find him. What? Are you serious? Well, I'm not complaining, hun. Thanks so much for your help. Is there anything we can do about your health then? Oh well, maybe some other time. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Well, I'm just gonna... Sit here. Do nothing. And wait for a companion to show up so I can shoot you. Without you noticing. Just sit here quietly. Don't mind me. Nothing suspicious.